Hi, my name is Dale Cochran. Uh, my practicum placement was with uh, Nate Athletics. Uh, I was an athletics assistant officially. Um, I was, my supervisor was Andy McIver. He was the athletics coordinator at uh, Nate Athletics. Um, a lot of the main roles and responsibilities that I was kind of uh, doing throughout the term was I was doing game recaps. I was doing some videography, um, some social media. Um, I was also on uh, three committees, uh, one for the ACAC Bamington um, Championships, um, one for the for a golf committee, uh, for a golf tournament that Nate was um, going to be trying to host in May, obviously now postponed, um, and the awards night committee for when the season uh, was completed for the athletes. Um, I did day-to-day -day stuff, I did weekend stuff, weekly, um, just tried to be where I could when I was needed. Um, the biggest thing that I did while I was at Nate um, it was my legacy project. So uh, Andy had approached me um, early in my practicum about perhaps creating um, a document or a handbook that explored kind of everything that encompasses um, sort of the athletics component of of Nate. Um, so the administrative side of like coaching, for example, or anything to help with the communication between like coaches and the administration, because at Nate there are full-time coaches and they have to do a lot of administrative work. And sometimes there is miscommunication or confusion about what tasks are assigned to who or what job responsibilities fall in there. So um, me and Andy sat down um, and kind of hashed out a game plan of sort of um, big items that we wanted to um, capture inside the handbook, you know, so scholarships, eligibility, um, fundraising, just anything you can think of. And we've been trying to gather all that info for the entire semester. So that was kind of my main, my main um, task. So um, part of it was that there's a lot of information within, you know, the department when it comes to anything relating to athletics, but it wasn't in one spot. It was in somebody's head or it was on the shared drive somewhere else. So the real big goal of the document and why it's super important is that it's going to really streamline that level of communication, that all that info is going to now be in one spot. So, you know, we they're moving to an online sort of thing. So we created a SharePoint that all the documents that can be linked to this handbook or anything to do inside this handbook is going to be there so you're not searching left and right for it. Um, so a big big way too that I got a lot of the info was through interviews with coaches. So I had to sit down one on one with coaches and just kind of be like from an administrative standpoint what is something that you um, struggle with or you would like to see done better or what do you like anything that you can think of do you have any documents that you want to share with us so it, it was really all about streamlining the process of communication and so my hope is that why it'll be important for Nate moving forward is that they're going to have everything that I worked on for the last four months in one place and Andy is going to take over um, the project once I'm done so obviously I've been having to work remotely for the last couple of weeks um, but that's kind of the last thing I'm finishing up with Nate still uh, presently. So, you know, I'll show there will be some clips at the end of this and the handbook will be kind of at the end to kind of show you a little bit of what I was doing. So I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as I did. Cheers.